You might have heard the myth that homes need to breathe, which implies that you don't want to build too airtight. This is completely wrong if you want to control home performance. Build tight and then ventilate right. Here's the mistake we make if we depend on accidental air leakage through the cracks in a home. First, you can't control where the air your family breathes comes from or where it goes. You might be breathing polluted air from a crawl space, or you might be pushing warm, moist air into a cold building cavity where it'll condense and grow mold. Second, a house that breathes through the cracks depends entirely on the weather outside to drive circulation. When it's very hot, cold, or windy out, you'll get way more accidental ventilation than you need, which makes it overly dry or humid inside. And when the weather is mild outside every spring and fall, that's when it gets really interesting. Imagine you have a week of lukewarm weather with cloudy skies. If the temperature outside and inside is the same, then you'd get virtually no accidental ventilation at all. The whole goal of the indoors is to give us a refuge from the weather. So why would you want to depend on it for your accidental ventilation? Plus, now more than ever, we know that when a builder hands over the keys and a family moves in, they need systems in place to control the indoor chemistry. Every time that family cooks or uses cleaning products, they can make the indoor air exponentially more polluted than outdoors. So aim for as much air tightness as you can get at home, and then get the right amount of fresh air from the right place with your ventilation system.